We have uh, another important uh, uh, model in the strategic management uh, syllabus that we have. And this model is the Porter's 5-4 steer. Porter's 5-4 theory is another interesting uh, model which will help us to analyze the industry in which we are operating. Now, uh, which are the different forces that act on a given firm or a company? The first one is the competitive rivalry within an industry. Now, we f let us first understand the meaning of the word industry. Now, industry is the homogeneous set of firms. Say, for example, we talk about the passenger car industry. Now, what is passenger car industry? All the passenger cars that are produced in India will become the part of the passenger car industry, which are the different companies that operate here. We have uh, Suz Maruti Suzuki, we have Hyundai, we have Toyota, uh, we have Ford, we have a lot of them. So when all such companies are put together, it becomes the passenger car industry. So how is the competition or the rivalry within the industry? If the competition in within the industry is very high, we can expect there will be a lot of price wars that happens. Uh, there will be cut in the profit margin and uh, we can expect uh, the companies to grow very slow because within the industry there is a lot of competition. So this is the first force that acts on a company. The second force is the bargaining power of the suppliers. Now suppliers are very important for any company. They supply the required goods and services for the company to operate. If there are very few suppliers and if there are a large number of customers, obviously the bargaining power of the suppliers will be on the higher side. So they will start setting the terms and conditions for the company which purchases the goods and services. The next force which acts here is the bargaining power of the customers. So here what happens is uh, when the customers are uh, very few in number and suppliers are large in number. So the bargaining power of the customers increases. Now here the customers will set the rules, regulations, terms and conditions for the suppliers to supply the goods and services. Next is a very interesting thing that is the threat of the new entrants. When there are low entry barriers, we can expect a lot of new players coming into the industry. When new players come into the industry, naturally the competition increases and there will be change in the bargaining power also. So this means that there will be an overall change in the way the industry operates. So there is always a threat when new entrants enter the market. Now there are different ways in which a company can actually stop new entrants from coming by maybe by uh, coming out with very high cost effective methods of production where they will have a competitive advantage or through patents. There are different methods in which the new entrants can actually be stopped but this is one force which will have a role to play in the industry. Now we will move on uh, to the uh, last uh, you know, force that is the threat of the substitute products. Now we know we have uh, studied this uh, in economics in detail. Substitutes are those goods and services which can be used in place of another good or service. The best example that we can quote for a substitute is that of coffee and tea. Now uh, if there are new substitutes that are introduced in the market, naturally there will be uh, a problem or competition to the product or the service that is already existing in the market and the company that is into the production of such goods will have to face that competition. So substitutes are also forces which are to be kept in mind while analyzing an industry. Hope you have uh, liked the explanation of Porter's 5 force theory. Uh, meet you in the next video with few more models and concepts. Thank you so much.